Hello everyone, welcome to the Art So Wonderful Show. I'm Bruce Wilson, and today we're redoing, refreshing up our mural underneath the Winooski Bridge. And so I'm so excited. We got our uh, lead muralist, Elizabeth Emmett, here. We're gonna talk to her in a little while. So far we got um, fire department, Winooski Fire Department painting. You know, people's gonna show up because we're here till six, five o'clock. And so um, I'm excited about this. This mural was created in 2019 by Elizabeth Emmett. She's she did all this incredible design, and we had a interactive with the city of Winooski and youth and Winooskians and everybody came out to put uh, put their little stroke on the wall. And so right now, let's go talk to some of the people here. Once again, this is Bruce Wilson for the Art So Wonderful Show, and see, we're going to talk to the Winooski Fire Department if you was out here doing this incredible mural with us that uh, Elizabeth Emmett designed. And so they're doing a great job so far. Look at those colors. So what, what, do, you, what do you think about this mural? Uh, I think What's it's- What's your name first? Oh, my name is Deeran Chesbro. I'm a Lieutenant with the Winooski Fire Department. Awesome. It's so nice to see wonderful women, Lieutenants and, you know, for uh, any fire department, any, any rank, you know? And so it's so nice. So what, what, you, what, made, what brought you out here today? Uh, well, our chief told us that they were painting a mural today, um, repainting that, that is, and uh, we just wanted to come down and support and say that we were part of this project because it's a, we, we've come down here sometimes and admire how awesome it looks, and uh, we're excited to see what it turns out to be. No doubt about it, and we, we're happy to have you here because, you know, um, Elizabeth, she can tell you herself, I'm, she probably already have, that we really, this was an interactive project, um, 2019 was it? 2019, where we had a community here, city, you guys came out and everybody was here to do this mural with uh, us, and uh, we were so excited. So, uh, so thank you very much. You got anything else you want to say? Um, go Winooski, I don't know. Go Winooski. <laughs> Winooski is my town. Yeah, Winooski is my town. Go ahead. Winooski is my town. Winooski is my town. That's right. Okay, so uh, excuse me, um, Mademoiselle. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, she's so special to me. Let me I'm busy this, 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 this our so wonderful show, CCTV. So check it out. This wonderful person right here who's painting on our mural. Oh my God, she makes me the best food ever at McKee's. Come on, what's your name? My name is Jules. Jules, so Jules, so what brings you out here today? Um, with my lieutenant. Oh, I'm trying cool. to get some paint done. Get some paint done, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was like food, she ain't messing around. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? She'd be like, I, I, she'd be like okay, how you doing? Yeah. So, so, uh, so how you, so you had like the mural so far? I mean, Pretty blue. Pretty blue. I'm liking you, it so far. You liking it so far? Yeah. Yes. So, so, this is why she's she not gonna be serving me no food for in eight days. I'm done. I'm done with the famous food from her. Wow. So, what are you gonna be doing? What's your future plans? I'm going to fire school. Ooh, nice. That's my plan. Nice, nice. You'd be an incredible firefighter. Thank you for um, choosing that field. Thank you. Are you got any last thing you wanna say? I gotta paint. Okay. <laughs> so. Come on down and talk to her. Let's be okay, image. Okay, it's my turn. Yeah. Here, look. You hold that, my girl. You go ahead and talk about this mural. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Elizabeth Emmett. Um, I'm the designer and artist that um, originally designed the mural with some input from the town um, in 2019. So right before everything shut down and we were all very separate, we were thinking a lot about the 100th anniversary of Winooski and the timeline of um, everything that has happened in Winooski and everything that makes this town and city special. So the original design was kind of a timeline showing the history. And now, um, three or four years later, we're thinking about updating it. So what you're seeing so far that's very blue is the river itself that follows along the whole mural. That is the only piece of the original design that's staying. Everything behind it, the background and designs are going to change. So uh, stay tuned and come down to the Riverwalk to see how it changes this this iteration around for the mural. So thank you for this opportunity. And if anyone wants to come paint over the next two days, it's meant to be a community experience that anybody can come and help with. So thank you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, talk about, talk about EAE, girl. 
You, you got something to say about EAE? Oh, EAE is just the way I sign all of my artwork because it's my initials, but I do a lot of different kinds of art, um, not just community murals, but I'm a printmaker and I also enjoy doing social design, which just means coming alongside communities and addressing social issues that they care about and really thinking about how art and design can sometimes uplift a conversation or a social issue that a community is facing and can generate new ideas and innovation to make change. So. That's what I do, and murals are one way, but every community is different with what they want to say and what they want to do. So I love partnering with different communities, different organizations, and thinking about addressing whatever's going on with them and um, just really uplifting their voices and helping beautify this place that we love. And that's it. That's what it's about. So check out Elizabeth Evans' uh, mural in a couple places, coming in Bur one in Burlington. Yeah, go ahead. Oh so, goodness, so, there's this one Winooski, on yeah. the River Walk okay. in Winooski. There's also a set of wings up the street at the City Lights building in Winooski, so you can kind of stand in front of it and pretend like you have wings. Um, also made during the pandemic to kind of uplift and connect us outside um, in a fun way. There's also two right now in Burlington. Actually, there's three. One on the back side of the First Congregational Church that I made with the youth group there. One on the side of the King Street laundromat, and that was done in conjunction as the King Street laundromat and community. We're really looking at, again, what social issues are facing that neighborhood and thinking about the laundromat as a social gathering place that conversations can happen around doing your laundry. So um, please check out what they're doing down there at King Street. And also, when you look on the side of the building, that's my work that was, again, painted alongside the community. And then... On the side of advanced music, we also were really working on doing some graffiti abatement and not only covering up some graffiti that had been happening along that building, but really working to connect with folks around the town who are engaging in that kind of artwork and inviting them into the process to really think about um, if you want to make your mark on community and you want to, to sort of say something, there's a way to do it that you can connect with your community and connect with building owners and communities to say, how can I say what I want to say on this wall? Um, in a bit more elevated way. So we're always inviting any youth or, or young folks out there who want to get engaged in the arts to come into the process, share your ideas and share your voice in a more constructive way. So yeah, anything else you want me to share? Your, your, your website? Oh, it's my name, ElizabethAntoinetteEmmett.com. And when you see the E-A-E, -E, you'll know you got there. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening and happy to connect with any person, organization, or um, project that's out in our community that thinks it wants an artist or a designer on board to be a thought partner and help realize projects around our state. Um, I'm going to get back on the wall okay, and keep right. painting. So we got two days. To I, I know Elizabeth is like she's you know she's on it. She's on it, always been on it in, uh, for us yeah, since 2019. Yeah, no. So, sir. We just keep no, no, bro. Yeah. Uh, your lieutenant said, "Get on this, bro." Yes. Thank you for coming out and helping us. Why you come out here today? What's your name, first up? This is this is our so wonderful cable show through CCTV. Why did you come out here today? Uh, What's your name, first? Sorry, Jarrett. Uh, Jarrett Shagan. Uh, just the fire department's just trying to do more for the like get out and do more. Instead of just like people seeing us when we're just for emergencies. No doubt about it. You know what? I know you're chief, and I, you know, I work for the city. Work with the city with Elaine and Christine, the mayor, you know, Ray, everybody for years. And and it, man, you guys do an incredible job. You had some work to do uh, last this 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 year. Oh, so many major fires, like five five alarm, three alarms. It, uh, you guys came right out there, and you, and you had your partners out there to. Um, like uh, St. Michael's and oh shit. Well, who came out there to help you out this year? Burlington, Colchester, Shelburne, was it South Hero, St. Mike's, Man. Milton, oh, uh, the Air Guard Fire. I think that was all. That's a lot, bro. That's like a five alarm or three alarm, right? So, God, bro. So, why would so many people come out? So, what would have to be what type of, like, five alarm, three alarm? What what would have to be for everybody to come out to, to help you? Um, Just, like, how 
big the building is and how much involved it was and then being multiple buildings it like just fighting like three fires at once oh man you guys and you, and I, was, I watched you do some i watched you guys work on a fire and you guys are so coordinated you know what I'm saying? your your chief was my friend you guys he got the, the big board out there and, he, and the battalion guys he's got everything out there they're going over everything right the, the, uh, the whatever it is you know the measurements and everything they got every you guys got everything right before you and so thank you sir for fighting fires at winooski and coming out to our mural today so i want to shake your hand you. you got anything you want to say no no <laughs> I, 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 had you, I had to make you say something right there but well, you know what your chief is going to be proud of you so we're going to pause for a little while with our so wonderful show and uh, we're going to go up and talk to our cook up here because we have free food today with mckenzie oh god if i don't see about mckenzie mckenzie's been one of our sponsors for over jeez christ 20 years they always help us out with everything we try to do all the events we do they appreciate the events that we put on for the community you know and so they always help us out with like food and stuff and um we got the McKenzie's steamer up there. They got beef hot dogs and skinless hot dogs. I can't wait to get some of that in my mouth. So we're going to pause for a little while and then we're going to come back. This is Bruce Wilson again from Art So Wonderful Cable Show. And we're going to talk about our wonderful sponsor, McKenzie's. They got the best hot dog. Nobody can beat McKenzie's hot dogs or any of that meats, the hams. Nobody can beat them in this state. To me, I've been, work, I've been eating that food for sure. Since I've been here since 1989, I love them. They've been sponsoring our programs. Thank you, Mackenzie, for doing that for us. Mm. Look, look, look at my niece right there. She about to bite down. She, she about to bite down, boy. So come over here, Gina. So Gina, the wonderful Gina, like my assistant. This, she actually found a power for our source to, to um, steam these hot dogs mm -mm -mm. thank God for her and then she cooked them mm -mm -mm. we found out how long it take five minutes right no nope. how, how long <laughs> like I don't know 20. <laughs> oh, 20 20 minutes that's all right but they so well, they're, good they're already cooked so they're, mm. they're, you just have to heat them up mm. so so thank you so much Gina for for doing that so Gina we know you're a college student Right, so what college you go to? UVM. Woo! <laughs> University of Vermont, bro. Yeah. Why everybody go to University of Vermont? Damn. It's, sometimes I you, you say true. Sometimes I hear people going to St. Michael's, which I love mm -hmm. to, SMC and Champlain College. I hear that all the time too. Yeah. And um, I think uh, St. Michael's College more like a liberal arts college. Mm -hmm. And Champlain College more like a like a graphic design and. Social social media, you know, if you want to be a police, you, that's where you want to go. Or you want to be a um, social work, that's where you want to go. Champlain. So, UVM is more like the agricultural and like sort of like the environmental school. Mm -hmm. So if you want to like get into those fields or like anything related to nutrition or like anything related to nature, then you go to UVM mainly. So Gina, what is your major? A dietetics and nutrition. Those are big words. Diet, what? Dietetics. Dietetics and nutrition. It's like a person who does nutrition, but like, isn't is more qualified than a nutritionist. So like, dietitians need to get a master's now, and they need to do an internship, and you take a big exam, and every five years you have to like, you know, re like instate your registration, or else you aren't like a registered dietitian and can't like practice in hospitals stuff like that so um why did you choose that field uh, i chose that field because i definitely experienced a lot of like weight shaming and like a lot of just negative stuff when i was little um because i was just a little more chubbier than other kids and like my doctor told me i need to lose weight and all that and i was just like thinking about it and i was like how can i lose weight but then i realized oh it's not about the weight it's about like how you eat and how you live your life and sort of other behaviors that you do that impact your health. It's not how you look. So that's good. So now you're going to help others, you know what I mean, um, the best you can to yeah. wherever, the goal, wherever the goal is. 
So, so let me tell you a funny story, Gina. So, check this. I'm, so I'm in this program called Cartier for 30 some years. It's a part, it started off in University of Minnesota, then it went to University of Chicago, and then Northwestern University. So, I've been there for 30 years. And so, one year, I was like, you know, because every year I try to go, you know, ride a tr um, treadmill, they put the lower. What do you call it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those things. The little pads on Yeah, them. yeah. And so, so one year, like, I was like, oh, one. 90 something right and i'm like yeah i'm all i think i was all ripped i thought i was like all cool and, and ready you know the report came back and said to me they said i was obese yeah i couldn't believe it you know they said well at your size and frame you should be 170. i thought it hurt my it hurt my feelings since today well, yeah i mean obesity is kind of a, a flawed system and bmi doesn't really tell you anything about your health because it was basically um, created by uh, someone who knew nothing about nutrition or health and just, I'm pretty sure it was an astronomer or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and now they just use it, but you could be a very muscular person and your BMI would be very extreme. Um, and it just like, more importantly is like your health behaviors that really impact like your health rather than just like a number on the scale. I'm telling you, that was years ago when they told me that. I thought like, well, okay, you know, you're a little overweight, you need to lose weight, but oh, call me obese, man. Like, dang, what exactly do obese mean? Nah, um, mean? Well, obese just means that, like, your BMI is over, like, a certain percentage. I think it's, like, 30, like, or something like that. It just depends on, really, your height and your, like, weight. Um, but it just, it's not really scientifically, like, grounded and, like, it's, there's a lot of flawed studies on obesity that don't take into account like weight stigma, stuff like that, which are a lot more impactful on your health than your size. Um, and so just a lot of people are like affected by weight shaming to the point that that actually is what contributes to them gaining weight or to them having negative health outcomes. So, so like on Wednesdays you work at Feeding from Chitney. Chitney. That's an awesome organization, and I'm yeah. glad you do that. You know, I mean, we need people like you to continue. So, what do you actually do? You do? You, oh, you tell me about you know spicing up those potatoes. Yeah. Well, I want some of those. Go ahead. Yeah. So basically, I just work on like Wednesday mornings. Um, there's the uh, I forgot what her her name is. Like Jay, she goes by Jay, um, and she's like sort of the lead coordinator of that. So every morning she um, has like volunteers come in and start like the breakfast prep. So you like chop potatoes, you like make PB&J, a ton of PB&J. Um, you will help with like scrambled eggs and stuff and actually Rhino Foods also contributes to that. So they like donate a certain amount of their um, eggs to Feeding Chittenden because we're always running out of eggs. Um, so it's just like basically prepping um, for the people to come in and get breakfast and stuff like that and then prepping sandwiches for lunch and all that. And there's other jobs, but I don't do the other jobs in there. Well, let me tell you something, Gina, because, like, I love the food shop. You know, I go there, I have some coffee, I eat some, you know, breakfast. Yeah. You know, God, I love the people that work there. They're so intelligent, they're so smart, and they treat people really well. I used to be a board of director for a CVOEO for years ago, you know, so I know all about what, you know, kind of, you know, Paul Dragon is now and my friend and, and, and Jess and... Korean and all my peeps, you know what I'm saying? And so they are, you know, so I love seeing them and I love working with them. I love coming to the food shop. I'll yeah. tell you, man, you got, I had, oh God, I had some, um, the other day I had some um, vegetables, like steamed vegetables. Mm. Yeah, oh man, they were so good with sausage and yeah. potatoes. Oh, I love it. People don't know, boy. If you, if you want a good meal, yeah, go to the Anyone can go. Like, it, you don't even need, you don't need, to be, a lot of homeless people go there, but you definitely like, can be a college student who struggles with eating even if you don't like if you have food you can still go and like meet other people so no doubt about it and i love it yeah i go there myself we're gonna do thanks to you we're gonna do a mural in there yeah. go ahead to me gina you know i'm so excited like well adam said bruce gina said if you want to do a mural here, you got, you, you, we got to talk to you. i like no, look at my girl she's looking out for us so thank you anything you want to add Yes, yeah. I like that. Let's talk about that fancy hat right quick. Um, this hat came from uh, the farmer's market. Um, there is this lady who does, like, takes designer swatches and, like, makes them into hats and, like, bags and stuff like that. And she's really cool. And so she goes support her, buy her things. They're a little expensive, but, like, they're worth it. So. 
You said they for forty dollars. Forty. Yeah, they're like forty dollars. Yeah, that's good. That's about right. I thought yeah. I was. I thought it was like. I I went low because they said from tomorrow, but I think it was like like fifty five. She could sell them for fifty five yeah. easily. That's cool. And yeah. you can get food and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. I know. I love the farmers market on Pine Street. Yeah. So thank you. I'm going to yeah. talk to to um, the artists down there, see what's going on down there. And so uh, if you got anything, I'm going to come back and see you yeah. and see what's going on. Okay. For, uh, on. Uh, 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 thank you. Welcome back. We're starting on green. We were on blue. Now we're on green. We have all kinds of um, community members showing up to help. Um, if you want to, you're, feel free to come on the camera and share it with your name. But um, People have been hearing about the project through the Winooski Bridge project. Um, some folks just come down and walk by and want to get involved. So we have a couple of volunteers here who are going to help me keep it going for today. Sure. Come on over here. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Brittany. Brittany? Yes. Yeah. I'm Bruce Wilson. I'm in charge of Arts at Wonderful World. Down our performance and then all the years. So about 60% of the heroes who are so wonderful and like your body, blah, blah, blah. So this event is like our, our famous Lee Muralist and she does some incredible work for her, her murals and all kind of cool stuff. And we just love her because she, she designed this one right here and that's just changing it up. So so what how'd you hear about this? Um, I heard about it first through I think you um, at Scout at the coffee shop. Um, we met there and then I also heard about it um, at the Winooski Bridge meeting mm -hmm. too. So that that was a nice reminder to come. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, we were talking there. Yeah. You was working and stuff. Yeah, that. working all day, uh, and yeah, the yeah, thought of we, we painting was talk, nice. Had a good conversation. Yeah. So, I'm so happy that you came out and yeah. see with me. Look at that nice green. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Look at that green. Mm -mm -mm, I love green. I love green and blue and purple. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be pretty. So, so, um, so, what do you do? I work for the state of Vermont mm -hmm. um, in like the economic development. I remember. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a, um, I'm commissioner for the state of Vermont, human rights commissioner. Right. Yeah. About stuff. So thank you for working for the state of Vermont and, and serving the people. We're saying we need people like you to help us get, continue to get better. You know. Yeah. Well, thanks for organizing this event. Um, it's awesome to be a part of a community initiative, even though the bridge is going to take some time. It's mm -hmm. nice to, yeah, well, to reimagine so nice. what it looks like. Yeah. It's going to be so nice. Um, I think we'll start uh, the bridge will start in 2027. You know, well, I could never, ever do this without Elizabeth Kennedy. No way in the world. She's, she's the brain behind all of this. And she's like, I'm like, Elizabeth, where are you? <laughs> you know, she's like, I'm on the Yeah. You know, so, so well, it's important to keep it like um, looking nice in the meantime and like doing right things it. with our community in the yeah. meantime. So I'm just happy to be a part. Yeah, I'm it. glad I was, he was able to talk to me yeah. about it, right? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, nice to see you. Um, yeah, let me know when there's more because I, I do oh, love. Tons of stuff. It's nice to just like paint too and like just you yeah, know get lost in painting for a little while. Okay, yeah, I got you. Now. So, okay. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna holler at you. Okay. All right, you've got my info. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. It. Come on, hit the wall, guys. Put a stroke. Let's, let's do something. Anything, one stroke. Elizabeth Emmett, she's our famous artist. She created this girl. Yeah, come on. Come on. What's your name? Run. Huh? Run. Ren? Yes. I'm Bruce Wilson. This is the Art So Wonderful paper show for CCTV. All right, so thank you for coming thank out. Thank you. You know, and, and doing something for a while. So Elizabeth Emmett is our lead. She's a muralist. She's a designer. She a lot of things. She, um, so she'll put you right to work. Okay, thank you. I'm actually an art minor at St. Michael's. Oh, you know what? Oh, did um, did uh, Laura see you here? Laura? No, no, I was just down here because it's parents weekends. Great. So I love um, St. Michael's. I work at the movie program for media. Yeah. Laura Scott is my friend. You know, the mm -hmm. dream program. I have a great dad the dream program. Yeah. So thank you. What's your major? Um, psychology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I graduated. Yeah. You know, what's the university? That's what so, why did you choose psychology? Um, I want to be an art therapist for special needs. That's so important. Yeah. Art therapy. Yeah. Wow, isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah I know, you know, you hear, you hear people say art therapy, not often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not often, not often. You hear it, 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 you know, but not often. So, what makes you think, what makes you choose art therapy? Um, I like psychology and I like art. Thank you. 
about the yeah. youth program. Yeah. And he moved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to get we put on a visit. My program in Atlantic House Club put on a visit for many years at an Alley Hall Rock Show. We are from our, our, our partners sponsoring Burgess on a mm -hmm. 300 field drum rail there. Yeah. So I love St. Michael that. <laughs> So the liberal scholars. Yeah. So thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. And Elizabeth, but it was show you. Okay. You, 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 I guess you're yeah, you ready to jump thank, you so thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you for doing what you do. Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our so wonderful show. We're down in Iwaniski and we painted a mural that was designed by Elizabeth Emmett. And here she is. Say something before we're not partying. We're about to close out the show. Go ahead, say something. Um, it's been a great day so far getting started on repainting this mural that we started in 2019. Um, it, the sun's out, the food's out, and we hope that more folks come down throughout the rest of today and tomorrow. Um, we'll be here from 11 to 5 painting this mural and brightening up the river walk here. So thanks so much and hope to see you come down to paint with us. Yes, thank you so much. Everything, she's, everything Elizabeth Emma said, our, our designer of this mural and coordinator and Right now, she's the best. So thank you for tuning in to our so wonderful show. We'll talk to you next time.